Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about another part of solving rational equation. So we have here 3x over x minus 5 is equal to 5 minus 5 over x minus 5. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's solve this problem. What we have here is a rational equation. We're in actually this one is a requested topic or video from one of our subscribers na gawa daw ng video ng solving rational equations with whole number. So, here it is. Now guys, the very important thing here in solving rational equations is on how to eliminate this denominator. First, we need to know what is your LCD. So as you can see, here, in this given rational equation, the LCD is simply x minus 5. Because only have x minus 5, we have here invisible 1 as your denominator, and we also have here another x minus 5. So in other words, your LCD is simply x minus 5. Then after that, we also need to know your restricted value. So Many of us, many of our viewers are asking what is RV, so it is restricted value. So, how do we calculate for the restricted value? Alam niyo lang naman dito guys kung alin dito yung mag cause na kapag ginamit mong siyang value ng x, it will become zero. And here, the restricted value or RV is simply 5. Because if you will plug in 5 here and here, your denominator will become 0. And remember, kapag meron kang fraction with 0 denominator automatic, that is undefined. So, okay, so we are done with the LCD and restricted value. Now, let's use the LCD to eliminate this denominator by simply multiplying your whole equation by x minus 5 and x minus 5. When I say whole equation and close your equation parenthesis or bracket and then multiply it both sides. Here, this will become this one. We have 3x times x minus 5 over x minus 5 is equal to 5, then this, multiply here to your whole number, it will become 5 times x minus 5. And here, we have minus, multiply it here, minus 5 times x minus 5 over x minus 5. So as you can see, in our Numerator, we have x minus 5, x minus 5, so, oh, sorry. Dapat palang ginamit ko dito red ink yan, para makita nyo mabuti. Okay. So here, as you can see, we can easily eliminate your denominator. And here, your numerator. So it will become simply 3x. Okay. Then equal to here, which is 5. 5 times x, which is 5x. Then 5 times negative 5, that is negative 25 or minus 25. And here, guys, let's cancel out five x minus 5 and x minus 5. We have minus 5. So we will simplify this equation. It will become 3x is equal to 5x. And this one is negative 30. So what will happen here is that I will transpose 3x to the other side, and I will transpose ter negative 30 to the other side. So I will copy 5x. The very reason bakit ang 3x sa transpose ko, para hindi tayo magkaroon ng negative. Okay? So yung 3x mo magiging negative 3x, then yung negative 30 mo magiging positive 30. So 5x minus 3x is simply 2x is equal to 30. And to simplify and to finally solve for the value of x, what you need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. And here it is. Your x is equal to 
15. And this is the value of x here. Again, this is the value of x. You can write down your answer as solution set. We have s as our solution set be equal to this one, 15. Yeah. Now, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, you can you, know, you can do a checking. Okay, checking dia. So what will happen is that using this original equation, we will substitute 15 to x. So it will become 3 times 15. Okay, 3 times 15 over 15 minus 5. So this is your x, it will become 15. It's equal to 5. Okay, 5 minus 5. I'm copying the original equation over, this is 15 minus 5. Simplify, five, uh, 3 times 15 is 45 over, this is 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 minus 5 over 10. So as you can see, this 5 can be expressed as 50 over 10 minus 5 over 10 is equal to 45 over 10. And what we have here, let me adjust this one. This is 45 over 10. And 50 over 10 minus 5 over 10 is simply 45 over 10. As you can see, the two sides of the equation upon checking is are equal, meaning the variable x, which is equal to 15, is correct. In the given equation, 3x minus 5 is equal to 5 minus 5 over x minus 5. So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to solve for a rational equation with a whole number. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but you hit the bell button for you to be updated on the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.